The goodies, back together and ready to save the world. Well, after a drink anyway. Smashing sex barriers. Women who went where no woman has gone before. And Harold Holt. We have just about given up. The death of a Prime Minister. Back in the 1960s, England's Cambridge University wasn't just producing doctors, philosophers and other eggheads. For reasons still too difficult to fathom, Cambridge was also churning out the best comedy minds in England. Lunatics like Alan Bennett, Peter Cook, the Monty Pythons and three oddballs who chose to be called the Goodies. Hello, we're the Goodies. Goodies! <laughs> We were students together at Cambridge. Yeah. Uh, Bill and I met within about a few weeks of us arriving there, didn't we? Yes. Uh, Graham was in another college, but we joined... We're also a great deal younger, so I arrived much later. Yes, deceptively. Now, we are the goodies. Yes, yes we know no. that. And we are, are going to do good to people. But, oh, there's money a lot of, those, the a lot of those uh, TV shows at the time, like The Avengers and The mm. Defenders and Protectors. And it was all these groups of people with special skills who went out and saved the world. Um, we thought, that's silly. <laughs> goodies! Enter the goodies. For 12 years, this unlikely trio took doing good to extremes, creating havoc along the way. I deeply despised my character. I mean, I really, he was a coward, he was a snob, he was a racist, he was everything. So when people say, it's lovely to see somebody playing themselves, um, I get very depressed about that. Hands up those who think we should panic now. Me. <laughs> ah! I'm a teapot! I'm a teapot! I'm a teapot! I really admired my character because I thought he had a lot of very good ideas which would have worked, you know, sort of pirate radio stations and... Uh, <laughs> turning the world into clowns. I think um, my character could have saved the world. Today, the post office. Tomorrow, the world. I'm a great fan, by the way, of both of them. I, used to, I enjoyed... Both of them. I enjoyed Graham falling over. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Enormously, because he's a brilliant faller. Four o'clock at the OK Tea Room. See ya, suckers. <laughs> I loved his sport, and I used, yes, I used to course. look forward to Tim crying. <laughs> Nothing I liked better than that. Well, that was off the set, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I think Tim was extremely funny. Me, uh, me while Tim. you're being nice to me, <laughs> I have to say I'm a great admirer of your music. Thank you. Um, <laughs> people ask us, because in the sort of almost one year, 1975, we became the Spice Girls of 70. <laughs> Come on, everybody, it's Gibbon time! I saw a clip of us on top of the pots. And Graham and I looked a little bit embarrassed. Right? <laughs> We're the goodies, how you do? Bill Oddy was the man behind the music that sent the goodies soaring into the UK top ten with four hit singles. But were they comfortable in their role as teen idols? Suddenly, you were going into an area you didn't belong, but you were able to, to, be, to be a pop star for a time. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm very, very proud of what we did with the goodies. And we worked for 10 years. People couldn't wait to watch the programme and talk about it at work the next day and things like that. And I think just to have been part of that is, is just, yeah. just wonderful. These days, our favourite band of do-gooders continue to be in high demand, working individually as writers and performers. Huge advantage of the three of us, so there, were, there was always a majority. This is the point one makes, is that we never really, we have a tiny falling out, but very rarely. I think we're one of the few groups in anything that are still friends, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Not many. I don't know any of them. I've never talked to anybody. <laughs> 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 the goodies. Timbrook Taylor, Graham Garden and Bill Oddy. And apparently there was another bloke who was desperate to join the goodies. He was a fellow by the name of Prince Charles. True. And we'll be back after this.